Section 3.2, the product and quotient rules. All right, so in this section, I want you to remember that the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivative. And the derivative of a difference is the difference of the derivative. Now, this leads to the question, is the derivative of a product the product of the derivatives? Well, let's see. Suppose f of x equals x and g of x equals x squared. Let's find the derivative of each part first. So the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of x squared is 2x. If we multiply those together, we get 2x. Is this true? No, it doesn't work like sum and difference because f times x would be x cubed and then the derivative of that would be 3x squared, which is not 2x, which means it's not true. So we have to have a product rule, which if f and g are both differentiable, then the derivative of a product is equal to the function, first function times the derivative, plus the second function times the derivative of the first. So let's find an example. Let's find the derivative of f of x. So we're going to first pull this x out. And we've got x times the derivative of e to the x plus e to the x times the derivative of x. That gives us x e to the x plus e to the x plus 1, which in our case is, we can pull the e to the x out, x plus 1 times e to the x. Do you see how that works? we got the first function times the derivative of the second, then the second function times the derivative of the first. So if f of x equals root x times g of x, where g of 4 is 2, g prime of 4 is 3, find f prime of 4. So first things first, we need to take the function times the derivative plus the function times the derivative. So we have root x times the derivative of g plus g divided by 2 root x. So therefore, if we want to find it with 4, we can plug in a 4 to the x. We know the derivative of g prime is 4, plus we know when we plug in the function, we divide it by the 2 radical 4 equals 2 times 3 plus 2 divided by 2 times 2, which equals 6.5. Because we know g to the 4 is 2. So what about the derivative of a quotient? Is the derivative of a quotient the quotient of the derivatives? So first we can find the derivative of this, bring the 2 down, times it by this, we're left with 2x, minus 3, this goes away and so does the plus x, and on the bottom the x disappears. So suppose this, we have this, is this correct? Well, let's look at it a different way. We have 1 over 2x minus 3 over 2 plus 5 over 2x to the negative 1. This equals 1 half minus x, 5 divided by 2x squared, which does not equal the 2x minus 3. So yet again, the quotient of the derivative is not the quotient, uh, the derivative of the quotient is not the quotient of the derivative. That only works with sum and difference. For product and quotient, we're going to have these new different rules. The quotient rule is very similar to the product rule. <coughs> if they are differentiable, then the function, the second function times the derivative of the first minus the first times the derivative of the second divided by g squared. So the derivative of a quotient is equal to the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom divided by the bottom squared in words. So here's our example. So what we need to do is we do the bottom times the derivative of the top and then the top times the derivative of the bottom divided by the bottom squared. So if we follow this out, we're going to FOIL this, subtract this after we FOIL those, and we get down to this example down here. And that is how you find the derivative of a quotient. So the quotient rule does not always need to be used when dealing with rational functions. Look at the function first to see if it can be rewritten in a simpler form. For instance, if you get it rewritten like this, then you can just use the simple derivative rules. Here are the table of differentiation formulas that we have discussed in the previous chapters. Of a constant is 0, x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1, derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and these are such as follows as well. And this is what we have done so far. So if the constant's on the inside, you can pull it outside and times it by the derivative, f plus g, type derivative plus g derivative, f minus g, f derivative minus g derivative, 
And then we've learned the product rule today, function times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first, and so on and so forth with the quotient. And that is it.